everybody and welcome back to Dan the English Teacher. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at question tags and I'm going to show you one method that you can use to make them really easy in English. So let's start by looking at what is a question tag. Well, a question tag often follows a statement and it's used to ask a form of question. So for example, I might say, you can play tennis, can't you? We have the statement, you can play tennis, and the question tag, can't you? Now, why am I asking it like this? Because I can also ask it like, can you play tennis? And the answer would be, yes, I can, or no, I can't. But similarly, I can say, you can play tennis, can't you? And again, the answer might be, yes, I can, or no, I can't. But the reason I'm asking it like this, so with the statement and the question tag, it's because I kind of already have an idea of the answer. And I'm asking the other person to say, what their answer is in order to confirm my idea. So for example, you can play tennis, can't you? In my head, I'm saying, I think you can play tennis, but I want you to confirm that. Whereas if I said, can you play tennis? I may not have any idea at all. I, I don't know if it's yes or if it's no. So that's the reason why we use question tags in English, when we want to confirm the answer, when we already have an idea, but we want the other person to confirm that. And they're typically used in spoken English. You may also see them or use them in written English as well, particularly in, for example, a WhatsApp chat or on Instagram or on Twitter, something where you're having a conversation quite quickly with someone. And that's that's why they're typically used in, in spoken English, because they're quite quick. You know, you want the answer quite quickly. So you're basically saying, can't you? And there are other examples. Um, there, are, there are loads of examples in English, but I'll just give you a few more just so you get the idea. Um, I can also say, he's from England, isn't he? Or you haven't seen this film before, have you? They'll be arriving soon, won't they? Or they look really happy, didn't they? Now. The thing about question tags for me is that because we're using them typically in spoken English, we want it to be quite quick, right? We want to ask or make the statement and get the response using the question tag pretty quickly because we want to talk about something else or we want to set something else up. And when in English, when I teach this to students in English, I always see the same expressions on their faces because they are quite complex. They're quite difficult to form and there's a lot to think about when using a question tag. So for example, if we go back to the first example, you can play tennis, can't you? I need to think about the statement. I need to think about what verb I used in the statement, whether the statement was positive or negative. For example, if it was a negative statement, the question tag would need to be positive. So for example, if I said, you can't play tennis, can you? You can see there I've used can't in the statement, but can in the question tag. So you've also got to think about what type of verb it is. Is it an auxiliary verb? But what about if I didn't use an auxiliary verb? Uh, remember the statement, they look really happy, didn't they? I use the verb look in the statement, and then I've got to use the, the verb to do in the question tag. In this case, it's in the past, it's looked. They looked really happy. So I've got to go to the negative, didn't, didn't, and then they think of the subject, okay, didn't they? You can see it gets quite difficult quite quickly and, and, and I completely understand because, that, like I said, there is so much to think about when using question tags. But what if I told you there was one word that you can use to replace all of those different question tags? One word where it doesn't matter if the statement was in the past, the present, the future, which verb you used in the statement, whether the statement was positive or negative, you can use one word for all of those. Doesn't sound realistic, right? Well, it is, <laughs> and the word, I've used it a few times already. The word that you can use to replace all of those question tags is the word right. So for example, you can say in English, you can play tennis, right? He's from England, right? You haven't seen this film before, right? They'll be arriving soon, right? They look really happy, right? 
And there you have it. One word that can be used as a confirmation to invite the speaker to confirm the statement. You already have a kind of idea what that is, but you want the speaker to confirm it. Just use the word right. So I hope you found that video useful and I hope you can use that method when you're looking to confirm information with the people you're talking to. Remember, just use the word right. So thank you ever so much. Do let me know in the comments box below what you find difficult in English and I'll make a video to help you make it easy. Do hit the like button, do hit the subscribe button as well. There's more videos on the channel. Take care, thank you ever so much and see you next time.